Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. reading. So that being said, it might not resonate with everybody. So please do take whatever resonates with you and simply leave the rest aside. If ever though you do have any questions and you would like to have a personal reading, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com and it will be my great pleasure to assist you in finding the answers to the questions that you might have. Also, if you do enjoy the channel and you have not yet subscribed, please do take a brief moment of your time to click the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself, and it would be greatly appreciated. So with no further ado, we're going to begin this reading. This reading is really exciting. It's all about your spirit guides. So I have channeled your spirit guides for you so they can deliver to you three messages. So there are three messages here for you, followed by an activation card. So, with no further ado, we're going to begin. I don't think I told you that this is for the sign of Capricorn. I know you clicked on it, but I'm just going to, you know, reconfirm it to you. So, I have kindness counts, never judge another, and take responsibility for your actions. So, let's begin with kindness counts. Now, when you're experiencing life on Earth, can really be and become overwhelming. Often there's just not enough hours into the day to accomplish everything that you would like. And the one thing that doesn't take up extra time and that you can do every moment of the day is to be kind. It sounds easy, but really, the manifestation of loving, light, that is given from one soul to another in this physical dimension is known as kindness. And kindness really is a, it's an acknowledgement and it's a recognition of another, another person who deserves the same love that you have given yourself. Now when you share this energy with another, it may be the most important element that their soul needs at that particular time in their journey. They may be in a place of insecurity and this gift that you bestow may center them enough to make the correct choice for themselves. Now, when you're kind to someone or someone is kind to you, it is felt in the heart chakra as a physical manifestation and it warns, it warms your heart. And it's often said, when an act of kindness resonates within you, that is the energy of your soul and anything that brings forth that energy should be nurtured. Make a concerted, a daily effort to be aware of the energy that you are sending out because kindness is simply contagious. We're going to move over to your second message which is never judge another. So your higher self is just objectively experiencing and it does not come from a place of judgment. From its perspective, nothing is good, nothing is bad, nothing is right, and nothing is wrong. It just is and nothing else. In this physical dimension, however, your awareness of consciousness is filtered through the human experiences as ego. It is the ego that judges. Perhaps it's fragile and it's insecure, but it is usually happiest when it feels better than. Now judgment really is fear-based. It separates you from the others when your goal is really to acknowledge your sameness. Your fellow souls have chosen this earth also at the same time and we just have unique personal blueprints that we're just trying to follow. It's not your job to judge anyone else's path. They are just learning different lessons than you are. Everyone has chosen a life circumstance and a human form to inhabit that will enable them to learn the lesson that is chosen by their higher self and chosen by their guides. Now to judge their decision making is really a fool's play. It is the ego that needs this sense of separation in order to survive. Now, when you receive this message from your spirit guides, 
Your guides want you to keep a watchful eye on your ego. Instead of sending someone the negative energy of judgment, bless them on their way. Instead of disdain, wish them Godspeed on their own particular journey. Okay, so it's all about switching it up. So now we're going to go to the final message from your spirit guides, and this is take responsibility for your actions. Your thoughts, your words, your deeds, they all create energy and they all have consequences. It really is the law of physics that every action has an equal opposite reaction. As you look at this message, at this card, your guides want you to understand that it is necessary for you to accept ownership of that action. You might think that thoughts are not technically considered action, that they are not as powerful as words and deeds, but you would be mistaken. Thoughts may be more powerful for they are the creator of words and deeds, and you are creating an atmosphere and you're placing it into the universe. Now, depending on the thought, you can create an imbalance. And if what you send forth is not in harmony with the natural state of love and compassion of which you are made, it is just a human tendency to believe that just because you cannot see something, it must not exist. But that is a foible in the human experience. If this message appears for you as it has, you need to examine your current relationships and see if an action that you have initiated has created an imbalance somehow. If so, you need to take ownership for, of it. You need to apologize and you need to simply make amends. The spiritual law of cause and effect will produce a karmic debt and that you are going to have to pay eventually. So it is really best, since you know of it now, to pay it now. So your three messages from your spirit guides are kindness counts, never judge another, take responsibility for your actions. And your activation card is all about respect. So you value everyone's unique perspective on the path of love. It's really important for you to remember that everyone in this physical dimension has their own journey and it is filled with struggles, with obstacles that are very different from your own. They choose their life blueprint as you chose yours. And it's not your job to judge how they discover their way to love. Rather, it really is your job to encourage them. By showing respect, you earn respect. And when someone comes in your space, they are immediately aware of your level of integrity and your willingness to help others. You carry yourself with a natural strength and people look up to you. And when you receive admiration, you may even become a role model and you have the responsibility of setting an example. As a role model, you must demonstrate love in all situations and a sense of compassion in every interaction. So there is no greater way to gain respect than to accept others as equals, as fellow soul travelers. So this, my dear friends, Capricorn, is the ending of your reading of your messages from your spirit guides. I hope that you enjoyed. I hope you're able to um, to resonate with it. I hope you're going to be able to apply it. If you do have any questions or you would like a reading, romancefultarot at gmail.com. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for any following readings and have yourself a fantastic day. Thank you for being there. I'll see you tomorrow.